What's good? This is Dan May from Unknown Artist, the Cyber Threat Division. I'm going to show you how we got here. That's right. I'm going to show you how we fished a user into checking Bob's resume and loading our version of mpclient.dll, which, as you can see, this is not the correct folder for mpclient.dll. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So what you see here is a an attempt at me trying to fish another user. Bob's resume links you to mprun.exe. You go to properties, you just hide that and you hide all this other stuff. So you definitely want mpcmdrun.exe in here and mpclient.dll in here as well. But what you'll notice is if you try to send this file, it'll get stopped because certain email programs don't allow you to send EXEs. So you can defeat that by making your zip file bigger than 500 megabytes. This zip file will be 700 once compressed and zipped and everything. If we were to take Bob's resume and we were to take these files out, so let's delete these, and then Bob's resume light. If we were to compose and then try to do Bob's resume light, we'll see that it's going to get kicked back block for security reasons. We'll go ahead and double click Bob's resume. Okay, so it's sending, it's sending. And then boom, notice that it didn't get kicked back. Please check Bob's resume. He uses pictures like a doofus. So his resume is quite large. And then I'll send it to my other email and then name it Bob's resume and then we'll send and then we'll share the link with him and then everything works fine so now i'm in my other environment and we have bob's resume right in front of us i don't know how i can delete that whatever so we'll click into that we'll see that it's not virus scan which is good for us red teamers so we should have bob's resume dot zip downloaded now and we also have Proc Explorer just on the side, just to show us what's going on here. So what we could do now is open up Bob's resume, double click it, and we'll see that we only see Bob Smith resume. I guess I call him Bob Smith for whatever reason. So the icon didn't come over to this computer because they aren't similar systems. But if you're in an organization, those icons will be in the same folder. So your icon will come over just an extra bit of social engineering there that you might need. Um, and if that doesn't work for you, you can also put the icon in the zip folder. I didn't do that either, but it is what it is. Just extract all, extract. And we have MP CMD run. Okay, it's dead and closed. Yes. Okay, so. So our user has successfully loaded our DLL into memory um, in Bob's resume and, and not the correct version of mpclient.dll, which is pretty awesome. It shows you how far phishing has come. Initially, of course, we used to like red teamers, hackers alike used to fish using Excel documents. Now it's zip files and hidden binaries and defeating antiviruses. And it's a scary time, but it's an awesome time as well, because even though there's nothing funny or there's nothing exciting about ransomware and, and people getting hacked, tradecraft is taking off in a very awesome way. And it, I think it's a call to action to Microsoft, um, Microsoft security professionals, and not only them, but professionals around the world. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Dan Main for Unknown Artists, the Cyber Threat Division. We out.